Hey, hi everyone, this is Gail here from GailBottomleyOnline.com. I just wanted to share with you today uh, a quick video on how to install my new theme that I've had written for WordPress. Now, it's uh, an amazing theme, has lots of features, but one thing you have to remember is that you have to upgrade to WordPress 3 before it will work. If you upgrade to or change the theme to my particular theme before you upgrade to WordPress 3, then you will get an error. So I tell you that uh, so you know ahead of time. So here it is here. We, I've just created this brand new blog, and that's what it looks like right now. And uh, we'll come into here. And the first thing we must do, of course, is upgrade to WordPress 3. So let's just press the upgrade button and get that done immediately now. So we've got that done and out of the way. So WordPress 3, it looks a little different for previous versions, and uh, but you know where you can make your way around it easy enough. So under appearance, we go add new themes. Now at the moment, you can download this theme and uh, but soon we hope that it'll be available amongst the WordPress themes. So if it's downloaded and onto your computer, you'll need to upload it here up onto your server this particular way. It's an easy way of doing it, right? So don't unzip the file, which you'll download as a zip file. You have to just do it this way, the way that I've shown you right now. So here it is here, already and waiting. We'll do a refresh and it should come through fairly quickly, and this is the way it looks. Now we'll go back and make some changes in it. So down the side under appearance, we have a few things down here. The first thing we want to change is menus, because if you look at it now, it has nothing across the top, and that's fantastic if you just want to create a sales page. But if you're wanting to look like a blog or looking like a website, then let's just add home. It's the first thing you add in. And you'll go create a menu. Once you've done that, you need to come across here to theme locations and make sure that home is what it's on here. All right, that's the first thing you need to do. Then you can come down to pages and click on view all. Now, if you've upgraded from another theme to this and you have more pages, they should show in here and you'll select all the ones that you want to show along the top of your website and then they will appear up here. Once they're here, you can click on the little but a little box and go save menu. And then you will find if we come back here and do a refresh that the buttons will be back up the top just like normal. Right, that's one thing. Next thing we can do is we can go into um, versatile settings and we can change the color. You can do other things here too. You can put your feed in here. You can show the previous and next post navigation on the top or on the bottom or both. I like it on the bottom. You can have the sidebar on the right or the left. I like it on the right. I like to turn my tags off and you can change the color here. So we'll change it to blue. You can also change the size of your header, which you'll be able to bring in as well. So I'm just going to leave it at that size, but you can go up to 300 if you want. And then you can turn the text off as well. And that text here is what is written right here. So we'll see all this in a moment. And you can add whatever you want to go onto the footer. So we'll go save changes. And there won't be much difference in this, in fact except the color, that is the one thing that you will note. All right, so now we've got all that and we've got nothing showing at the top because I asked it to take it off. And that's because we're going to bring a picture in in a moment. So let's go to header and go and find a header that we can bring in. So we'll go to pictures and let's see, we might grab this one here, the running one, and we'll go upload and then it'll take you to, uh, once it's uploaded, it'll take you to here, to this page here. And you can crop it if you want, or you can just go publish. Now what will happen if we come back here, we do a refresh, it will show up here. Very cool, isn't it? Now the next thing you may want to do is go to background. So we'll go in here to background, and this is where the fun starts. You can change the color. 
to whatever color that you would like it to be. Let's go to that one, shall we? We'll save that and we'll go back here and do a refresh. And that's change the background color. Now, let's say we want to put a picture in the background. Let's go and upload. Oops, I, I forgot to uh, press the browse button first. So let's go, mm, we might grab this picture, shall we? And we'll go upload. And then we'll see what happens with it. Sometimes if they're really big files, they actually won't upload. And so we may strike a difficulty with that. So actually, let's just go press the versatile settings again to get out of there and we'll come back to the header, to the background rather, wasn't it? So let's go browse and upload this one this time and see what happens this time. Hopefully, it will come through. That's the way it looks now. Let's go back here and do a refresh. And that's what's going to look like. Of course, you wouldn't want that looking like that. It's a bit much, isn't it? So if you don't want it, then you can remove the background image. You can also center it. You can tile it horizontally or vertically. You can go, I want it to the left, and go save changes. And let's see what that's done this time around, shall we? There you go. It's just popped it down that side there. So if it was um, perfectly done, you know, you spend some time doing it, it would look fantastic. You could have just a nice skinny one running down the side here, and that would look very cool. So you've got lots of opportunity here to make your site look quite different from anybody else's if you want to. So let's just have a look here. Obviously, we'll go tile, save the changes again. And there it is right there. Now what I'm going to do is put a link to the side or wherever you might see this video. I'll put a link up so you can download this theme. It will be for free and I'll be pleased for you to use it in whatever way you can. And if you have any great ideas of what we could do to make it even better, then I'd love to hear from you. So this is Gail from GailBottomleyOnline.com. Enjoy the 